Hi, I'm Pamela Schultz, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to new features in Datagraph version 5.3. The feature that I'm highlighting in this video is how to make graphs where the axis is a category as opposed to a numerical value. You can have the x-axis or the y-axis or both be categories. These are graphs that you could make in prior versions of Datagraph, but now they're a lot easier and faster. Datagraph is a native Mac OS application for creating publication quality graphs. If you want a trial of Datagraph, go into the description of this video, get a link to our website, and download a trial today. Now, I wanted to point out that there were commands prior to 5.3 that did have categorical axes as an option. For example, the box command, the bars command, and the pivot command could show categories natively on the x-axis if you chose a text column for the input. But the three commands that only allowed numbers in the past, the points, the plot, and the bar are the ones that we've updated in 5.3. Now let me demonstrate. First of all, let's say I have a single column of numbers and I want to plot that. I can select that. I can do this in Datagraph 5.2 or 5.3 and go up to the plot command and go ahead and add that. That's going to use the row number as the x value and the y value is the number column that we selected. Let me actually add the points here so you can see where these values are. Now, if I go to this menu and I wanted to select the text column, if I'm in 5.2, it's going to actually show up as red. And if you select it, you're not gonna see anything drawn because it doesn't accept text columns as input. So here, I'm in 5.3, so I select that, no problem, and you can see now how my x-axis actually shows the labels of those values. And notice how the tick marks in between each of the categories are shown. So this is what we call a categorical axis, where the tick marks are not where the label is, they are in between the labels. For all three of these commands, the plot, the points, or the bar, I can pre-select my data, add my command, and again, I see my x-axis is the categories. Let's also do it now for the bar. Pre-select the data, add the command, and you have the categorical axis. When you have a categorical axis, what Datagraph is doing behind the scenes is it's placing the element at a particular row at whatever the row location is. For example, if I changed and moved this data to a different row location, I could select these rows, click and drag to the side to move this down three rows, and notice how all of my graphs now are going to change. And in fact, now the location that was four is now plotted at seven. That's again, the row location that that point is at. If you wanna confirm that, you could change the X again back to the row number. Now it's a numerical axis. You can see where it's plotted or again, go back to the text label. And if you wanna move this back completely, just click drag to the side and move this back up. And now the data is actually the way we would want it. I mentioned in the beginning that you could actually use a text column for either the X or the Y. And that is true in both the points command and the plot command. To demonstrate, let me go ahead and change this numbers column into text. This doesn't change the data, it just changes how it is interpreted. It's very easy to do. I can just right click on the column and say convert to text column. And notice what happened now to my Y axis. Do you see how now the tick marks are in between? And in fact, I can just go ahead and now type in some text so that you can see that in fact, this is treating it like it's a categorical axis on the Y axis. The same is true for the points command, but notice that the bar command actually is not drawing. That's because the bar command does require still that the value that you're trying to plot with the bar does still have to be a numerical value. I can go ahead and change this back here to a number column. Notice how the word test that I typed in, that's not a number, so that's gonna show up as red indicating an error, but I can just change that to a six, and now my graphs are back. When you are using text labels, particularly along the x-axis, and they're long, you may find that they start to overlap. Here I've changed two of my labels to much longer text to illustrate this. 
So I wanted to show you how I would change this so that the labels were at an angle so they wouldn't be overlapping. First of all, I'd recommend setting the size of your graph and the font to something close to what you ultimately would like it to be. And then you can go into the axis settings and you'll notice that there are these two dials that you can interactively use to change the rotation of your text. You may find, as I have here, that the amount of space for the label is not enough when you rotate it. It doesn't automatically change, but there is a space for Y option that you can also change to give you, oh, actually I meant to do space for X, we'll leave space for Y as what it was, but you can use that to change the amount of space that you have for the axis or change it to something exact and then you can use the slider to interactively change it. Notice the space options are also something that you can get by right clicking just outside of the coordinate system and you'll see the X space uh, menu options here that you can change. But if you're going to change it exactly, you do have to get the access, get into the access settings to get this slider to change that. One of the things I love about Datagraph is how I can take the settings that I just created for my bar graph and easily apply this to the plot and the points that I would also want to be adjusted given the long uh, label I have now on my x-axis. So to do this, I can just select all three of the settings, the style, the canvas, and the axis settings, do a paste, or sorry, do a copy. Now go to my other graphs and just paste that in and it overwrites all of the settings with the settings from the bar graph. I can do the same thing with the plot. It's still in the clipboard, edit, paste, and now everything is set pretty much the way I would want it here, except maybe the point sizes are a little large now for the size of the graph that I have. I just want to show you one more quick example to illustrate what can happen if you're adding data sets together that have different text labels for the same row. So for example here, I have a simple data set where are two data sets where I have two different columns for text labels and they're not the same for each of these. Let's go ahead and add the first set of data. I'm going to do a points command and then add the second set of data. Maybe hard to see, but what you can do is again, right click just below the X axis label and bump up the X space from medium to high. And what you'll notice is that the X label is repeated. Both of them are shown where they are different. If I also wanted to show you what happens if I have different capitalization, here I have both five and five, but it is case sensitive, so it's also going to repeat that. Uh, I can just go ahead and change my text label to be the same, and I won't have that problem anymore, but I think it's something that's good for you to be aware of. Lastly, a better way to create a graph with data, a data set like this, would be to not have two text columns at all, but just go ahead and have one column where we have both of our sets of data. You can actually select it all at the same time, add the points command once and then twice, and there I have both of the commands with each set of data. That's it for this demo. You should now know the ins and outs of using text columns as input for the point, the plots, and the bar command. Uh, I'll have more videos coming out with more of the new features described in Datagraph version 5.3. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you learned something and you like this feature, then go ahead and give us a like. Thanks.